All right, let's have a crack at singeing a wild pig, taking all the hair off. All right, singeing the wild pig. Got this knife here with a rounded tip, quite a big knife. It's pretty handy for scraping down pigs. And of course, a gas burner. These sort of gas burner will do. Right, let's give it a ass off. Right, so you burn it as much as you can until it's all sort of molten and you can't burn any further so then you scrape that layer off, scrape all of that molten layer off and you'll have to burn it again until it sort of melts again and then have another scrape. Scrape it all off again and burn again. And then just repeat the process of burn and scrape, burn and scrape until most of the hair is gone. And now you can concentrate on one small area at a time. So you just heat it up quite hot until you see this outside layer of the skin start to bubble a wee bit. And when it bubbles like that, it means that the scraping will just peel it off nicely while it's still warm. You have to sort of do it while it's still warm, you can't bubble the whole pig and then try and scrape it. You just do small sections at a time, makes it quite easy. So just bubble up a wee bit of skin, scrape it off, bubble up a bit more, scrape it off. Just continue that. And it helps if you've got someone else there holding the pig against you when you scrape. If you've got someone else there, otherwise you might want to tie the legs down to keep it stable or something like that. It gets a bit of a sweat on, that's for sure. Keep on going until you've got a nice finish and now you can just give it a wee golden touch with the, the heat and it will just shrink that skin a wee bit and the final part of the hair will just stick out after the skin shrinks. So you'll see the skin shrink and the hair stick out. Now at this point you could also perhaps scrub it down with a wire brush if you want to or you could mix uh, baking soda and water together and scrub it with a scrubbing brush. Some people do that to clean it up a bit. I just give it another scrape down. And then she's pretty much all ready to chuck in the freezer for your next spit roast. Yeah.